Good evening and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I'm an in fact is Mahil. The news headlines. Tenobu tackling human trafficking through social investment programs. Fire government owes foreign service officers for launching academy. Ahmed Shaba participated in second ECOWAS regional parliamentary network meeting on malaria elimination in Kotonou. Ahmed Ayla Foundation owes Anur Ramadan lecture. NIMED enhanced services with new technology. Nigeria has 149 private varsities undersubscribed, NUC says. On those speaker, 15 lawmakers endorse Ayeda Tiwa's governor ambition and on sport. Okeoho vows to build on African game success. Now the news in details. The federal government says it is addressing trafficking in persons from the roots through its social investment programs to reduce poverty. It also named poorest brothers poverty, lack of education and unemployment as factors compounding the difficulty in combating human trafficking. The Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Fagbemi, said this when he declared the 26th National Stakeholders Consultative Forum on Human Trafficking open in Abuja on Monday. The Vice President, Kashim Shetima, stated that the academy had a great potential to make great improvement in the management of Nigerians' foreign policy. Shetima, who spoke at the inauguration of the academy in Abuja, added that it emerged at a period when it was needed the most. The member representing Adrian Moro Party constituency are the Federal House of Representatives. Honorable Ahmed Adamu Shaba on Monday attended the second meeting of the ECOWAS Regional Parliamentary Network on Malaria Elimination in Cotonou. Benin Republic. The gathering aimed to enhance regional cooperation and parliamentary engagement in the fight against malaria across the ECOWAS region. In a press statement made available to Just Event Online TV on Tuesday by Ibrahim Bello, SSA Media, Shaba actively interacted with parliamentarians from various ECOWAS countries sharing insights and strategies for combating malaria in their respective nations. It contributed significantly to policy dialogues concerning funding mechanisms for malaria control programs, healthcare infrastructure enhancement and improved access to essential medicines and mosquito control measures. Alaji Ahmed Ayla Foundation under the chairmanship of former acting provost, Kara State College of Education, Ilari. Dr. Ahmed Ayla Jatu on Monday organized a 2024 annual Ramadan lecture, admonishing the participants at the event held at his residence in Ilari. Prominent Islamic scholar, Sheikh Muritala Agaka, speak on the importance of giving charity during the holy month of Ramadan, citing the teachings and practices of Prophet Muhammad. Sheikh Agaka urged those present to emulate the spirit of generosity and always extend a helping hand to the indigent in their communities. He appreciated Dr. Ayala for his generosity and kindness towards the people, especially in the blessed month of Ramadan. You got it. Ele dan se yi ba ba de maka bi adin se nani. A o tamuro tin. A o samaro tin. A ba ni ko wa Jesu a wa ra apu kale. A ra o san kale. A ra labidun kale. Alaja guma e da ko jajo sinu. 
baba president era ko jaje osinu afa wo loyin era ko jaje osinu baba o ti e wa pe gbugbu awon eyan wa ninu nde e gogo se fun wa nisin e tun build fe kan olu leyi la re gbugbu ali umar nabi muhammad to o suri be ti ma yin abo wa fa wo eyan lo mi mo pe wa mo mi le ni ke bi sinu ni ke kan wa ma so ko so yin ma e anabi muhammad o ni gbugbu eni to ba fe kini to fun lo mi mu enikan tin gba we o wa fa lawe ti mo a ba ide ide o wa fun alawe o pe wa do re abo re ko ja lo o wa ra pe owo takale peto e ma mu o gbogbo eni o ba sinu e ma bi sinu to sako allahu mi ni hawli shuri ba ti anabi ni ru eru be olorun o ba fun lo mi ni abe haudi mi anabi muhammad la yazima o ko si ni o ngbe kun o ni gbe mo the lecture was attended by prominent individuals cartoons of industries a powerful delegation of Ilori Emirates Youth Development Association member of academic community among others the Nigerian Meteorological Agency has unveiled its new website as part of measures to strengthen its services in a press release made available on Tuesday the agency's director general Charles Anosike says the technology is more functional, interactive, dynamic, and compares with websites of made offices in other parts of the world. He added that the unveiling of the new NIMET website is part of the ongoing efforts by the new management of the agency to reposition it for improved and effective service delivery. National University Commission, NUC, as said, less than 10% of the 2 million students in the Nigerian universities are enrolled in private varsities in the country. The acting executive secretary, NUC, Chris Mayaki, made this known at the British Council workshop on enhancing curriculum and pedagogical approaches in Nigerian universities at the Continental Hotel on Monday. Mayaki emphasized the need for continuous curriculum reforms in Nigerian universities to enable them adapt in a fast-changing world. No fewer than 15 members of the House of Assembly have officially declared support for the incumbent governor of the state, Loki Ayedatiwa, to clinch the ticket of the All Progressives Congress and win November 2024 governorship election. The lawmakers, led by the speaker, Olamide Oladiji, disclosed that Aidatiwa had so far impressed them by continuing with the legacies of the late Governor Rotimi Akeridolu, despite being in office for only a short period. The last on the news is Port. The president of Handball Federation of Nigeria, Samuel Ocheho, has promised to build on the country's success at the recently concluded Afghan Games in Ghana. Nigeria's Golden Arrows defeated Benin Republic 38-20 to claim bronze in the hardball third place of the 13th edition of the African Games. Come to the end of the news at nine. Here's the recap of the story. Tunobu tackling human trafficking through social investment programs. Frog government owes foreign service officers for launching academy. Ahmed Shaba participates in second Equal Regional Parliamentary Network meeting on malaria elimination in Kotonu. Ahmed Ayla Foundation holds an Aramdan lecture. NIMED enhanced services with new technology. Nigeria has 149 private varsities under subscribed NUC shades. On those speaker, 50 lawmakers endorse Ayedatiwa's governor ambition and on sport. 
Okay, how vows to build an African dream success. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News. Remember, doubt is a killer. You just have to know who you are and what you stand for. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at Just Events Online. You can also send us an email on just event online at gmail.com. I'm Anifat Ismail. Good night.